Delt's a chair support services company. We were formed in 2014 between local government and the NHS. We're an independent company, but remain wholly owned by the public sector, which is fairly unusual. Our mission is to help people do amazing things, which, if you can ignore my obvious bias, is one of the best mission statements ever. The amazing things we do, or the amazing things that we help other people do, are all done by the other people we employ. I just try and look after the people who do the amazing things. There's about a million people who are impacted by the services that Delt deliver. Those services are delivered by around 8,000 people who are customers of Delt, and those 8,000 people are supported by just over 200 employees. The thing that's really interesting about that is the vast majority of those million people will have no idea that Delt has been part of the services that they're consuming. I think the fundamental role of Herb CEO is looking after the people who look after the business, um, and that's, that's the way that I see it. I think I'm a not very good manager. Um, I'm certainly a better leader than I am a manager. Um, a manager requires a degree of enthusiasm for following processes, especially processes that you've put in place. And I'm, I'm impatient um, and not always fond of following even my own processes. But I am very keen to try and improve almost everything that comes across my desk. My training and really the only useful set of skills I've got are actually in the entertainment business. My background is as a production manager for live entertainment. So that, that bit of my career was working with people like Boyzone, E17, Lee Evans, and, and embarrassingly, the Chippendales, which gives you some idea of how long ago it was. Moving from entertainment production management to public sector IT management wasn't quite as big a jump as you might expect. It's all about delivering change projects to a deadline. The difference once you move out of entertainment is that deadline becomes much more flexible. I, I think I did in excess of a thousand different live shows over the period of time I was in entertainment. Not one of them ever went late. They all started as they were supposed to. As soon as you move into IT, it's fairly common practice for projects to run late. And I've tried to bring a bit more of that entertainment mentality that says, actually, we've got to go live date, we're going to go no matter what. How important are awards to the business? It depends very much on what the awards are. You can spend an enormous amount of time submitting yourself for hundreds and hundreds of awards. And from a, a personal standpoint, I, I find most of them are a bit meaningless. But there are some that really mean something. In terms of career, what would I do differently? I think I've had a brilliant career. I've loved almost everything that I've done. So I probably wouldn't do anything very much differently.